Guys, our friends are back. The Game Time app is back. And y'all know how much we love the Game Time app at DC TV because the Game Time app gives you an opportunity to get last minute tickets to anything you want, whether it's basketball, football, mixed martial arts, comedy shows, the Game Time app has you. And how about this? Your boy DC is gonna help you get $20 off your first purchase by using my promo code DCTV. You know the last time I used the Game Time app, the boy Luis wanted to go to a UFC fight. And you know how that dude don't be inviting his girlfriend. He needed an extra ticket. So the boy DC got him. I went to the Game Time app, punched that promo code DCTV, saved $20 off, and then saved Luis's relationship. So guys, go to the Game Time app right now, download it, use my promo code DCTV, and save $20 off of your first purchase. Game time. Welcome back, my friend. And Luis, your boy loves you. I always got you, baby. Let's get to the video. Daniel! My man, Chris Weidman. Thanks for checking in, my brother. Guys, I am joined by the All-American himself, Chris Weidman, as he prepares to fight Bruno Silva this weekend down in Atlantic City. Weidman, how you feeling, man? I feel good, man. Just getting my weight down, pounding waters, enjoying. You know how it is. We just kind of like chill on fight week, man. There's and it's, because this is a fight night, like the media is like so so easy. It, it, my schedule is just really chill, so I'm just kind of like relaxing, enjoying well, Atlantic like, City for what it is. Well, it just seems like it just seems like the media is appropriate for the place because the only reason. You can enjoy Atlantic City is because you're from there. I mean, it's it is about as bad a place in our country. A place that once was beautiful and loved and vibrant now seems as it really does look like that movie uh I Am Legend with Will Smith, where like the apocalypse. Well, it's bad, man. So <laughs> I I started my career here, man. I this is where I started before I got into the UFC. Every one of my fights was in Atlantic City. And before Hurricane Sandy happened in 2000, I think it was 12, um, there, like Atlantic City was kind of still not great, but it was way nicer than it is now. Now, I mean, you go from the casinos, you know, the casinos aren't great, and then you come off the block at all. It is, it's like third world country out here. Yeah, they need, bro, they I definitely don't, need help. I don't they know. Need well, help. The UFC and with Chris Wyden are here to kind of help the economy right now. Chris, right now? Yo, that to help, help the economy, the dog. I'm here to help the people. That's what I do. <laughs> a man of the people. Chris, yeah. this weekend you're fighting Bruno Silva. Now, we could talk about the matchup and all the fighting and all that, but I, there's, there's other things I want to chat with you about. One, the experience of the last fight, right? Building into that fight, you told us after having that bad leg break, all you would do is kick. Now, I watched the E60, bro. That kick was much worse from the other angle than I ever thought anything that I've ever seen in my entire life. It made me want to throw up. But when you got in there, you weren't able to kick as much. Was it mentally, like, just mentally, you are not able to let it fly as easily as you thought you would? Yeah, I, I honestly didn't think it was going to be a problem. I, and I was saying in interviews before the fight, I'm going to start with a leg kick and all that. I I got, I all of a sudden, I started getting leg kicked by Tavares. And usually, if I get leg kicked, if I'm, not, if I'm not able to... If I'm not able to check it right away, I'm at least coming back with something. I could even, I could not throw a leg kick back. I was like, my body just won't let me, or my brain won't let me. And I was like, oh shit. And uh, and I was kind of getting like a feel of being in there again. It was so long off. And let me just like take this round to like chill. And as that was happening, I was getting my legs kicked off. And before you know it, he fractured my 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 front leg. And uh, yeah, then the rest of the fight was you know me trying to fight him with you know really one. Really, no legs because my other leg was shot too. Yeah, so it was uh, it was uphill battle. Well, you know, it's all about building, right? So you go from that fight to the next fight, but it's about building, right? So you're you're reteaching your mind how to operate with all the things that happened in the past. Now you head into this one. Do you feel any different? Did you do anything different in preparation to assure yourself that hey, when I do do this, I am okay? Because, bro. That fight, you took so much leg damage. I could not believe it, but it was just, honestly, just your toughness and durability carried you through that fight. What have you done different to make sure that when you're in there this weekend, 
you can throw the kick or at least have something in the chamber if you aren't able to mentally do it so that you don't find yourself in the same situation. Well, now I'm very cognizant that these dudes are going to be trying to come at my legs, you know, and I wasn't sure about that. I, I wasn't why, really why, why, why would you not be sure, Chris? If you saw somebody that had an injury like you did and you were fighting them, you would go after the legs. You, I mean, you're living in this fucking, you, you're living in a fairy tale world because you're Here in there with go. your children in that big, beautiful mansion that you own, and you're thinking everything's freaking strawberries and ice cream, when in reality, you're in a killer sport. Yeah. You I mean, what are you doing? Now listen, you're making some good points, but it's like, this is, I don't know if the audience is familiar with the Jordan Burroughs, Bo Nickel feud with <laughs> yes, that, yes. you know, going after the leg and stuff. I don't know. I don't think I, I, I don't think I'm consciously going after somebody's injury. You know, um, I think I'm going to fight my fight. If it's something's there, I'm going to take it. But I'm not like you know overthinking that yes. that thing. Listen, hindsight's twenty twenty. I learned. I, I learned say, from you that. Learned, this dude well, I, just, my leg. I don't even care about that. I don't care about that. I care about the mentality. I just I never thought you were so naive. You you and I are do really good on TV together. But I, I never would have. You're a locker room guy. I never would have imagined you were naive. I, bro, I am very self aware. I don't think I'm naive. <laughs> I just, I just don't think people have it in them to, to be like, okay, I gotta do this. I gotta just attack this one thing, and 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 it kind of shuts off the rest of your game, and and it's not who you are. And I, I don't know. Uh, I guess people are better than better at that than I thought. I don't know. I guess I, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Well, you're soft. I don't want to but say you're right, but yeah. Yeah, you say it. It's hard to bro. say that I'm right. Bro, but you want to talk about soft, bro? This guy's been dehydrating himself for shows. <laughs> I, mean, Chris, I want to look skinny. Die. So I'm yeah. in the sauna every morning just not drinking. Everybody's like, yo, drink water after your sauna. I'm like, hell no. I'm taking this pound. I'm taking these three pounds with me, dog. I, I'm feel bad. I actually feel bad. I complimented you on looking skinny because now I'm, I'm adding to your sickness. You got like an eating disorder. <laughs> Bro, start. You gotta start drinking water, man. This ain't healthy for you. It's, I'm worried it's about shit. you. You say shit like this, where I'm constantly worried about you getting canceled, and then you worry if somebody you don't think somebody's gonna kick your bad leg when you have a bad leg, Chris. Well, now I know. Way. Now I know. I now learned you know. the hard way, and you're prepared. Yeah. But listen, I don't call this fight, so I'm picking. You're gonna beat Bruno Silva this weekend, right? Because yeah. the other day you and I spoke off camera, and you spoke about feeling better than you ever have. Which leads me to this question. You've publicly stated, I don't know that I'm going to continue fighting after this. Like, I don't think I'm going to do this anymore. If you feel better than you ever have, why did it feel like I wanted to do this one in Atlantic City and I might not go forward with this anymore? Yeah, so after after the, the last fight with um, Brad Tavares, like the goal always was, you know, I got to come back after that traumatic leg injury. I want to come back and get through that and get to the other side. But... After that last fight, I wasn't so sure. I'm like, you know what? I think I'm good. Um, you know, I was training a little bit, but still having pain. And I, I think I'm, I'm good. I don't even know if I need one. And then I got called for the Atlantic City card. They're like, hey, uh, we got a fight offer for you. Because they weren't really offering anything, and I wasn't asking for anything. And uh, I was just living my life. And uh, they offered the Atlantic City car. I go, man, you know what? That would be a pretty cool spot to hang up the gloves, you know, to put the gloves down. That's where I started my career. You know, MMA wasn't legal in New York. So all the fights were always in Atlantic City. And um, I was undefeated there. had some great times. And I think it would be cool. And then as the fight, we, like, I, but, but I did tell myself, like, I go, you know, it kind of depends on how I feel. If I'm in that training camp and I'm miserable and my body feels like crap, um, you know, I'm, I'm, this is going to be my last one, but honestly, man, and not to be a sales guy, but I started taking, you know, I started a supplement company, but it was because oh, I, I, I found these, oh. these, these Indian herbs and shrubs, man. It's Say crazy. The name of it. Say the name pills. of it. Trini, if you're going to do it, go all the way. If Listen, you're going to do it, go all the way. TrinityGoldNutrition.com is where you could get it. And it's all natural. It's organic. And it's literally changed my life. I feel so good. Uh, my knee, bro, even my knee. I've had 10 knee surgeries on this one leg before I had four of the leg, lower leg uh, surgeries. My leg, I haven't been able to load my leg and push off in like 12 years. I'm loading my leg with no pain right now. That's, it's like a newfound superpower. Mm -hmm. And and I recommend, you know, listen, if you have any pain or inflammation in your body at all, I recommend checking this out. 
if you don't, if it doesn't help you, like I don't want to take your money. Please tell me, and we'll money back guarantee. Wow. Like That's... I'm only trying. I'm only trying to help people. You know, and I'm not, I'm getting a small profit. It's not nothing crazy. I'm keeping I'm keeping the mar the margins aren't great. Um, yeah. So, but yeah, like I'm I'm really into that right now. Uh, these old natural products and these just you know, the stuff is um, the stuff is unbelievable. So I, I will say I've tried it before, yeah. and after I tried it, it didn't it it was try it. And then Kevin James and I pummeling on the golf course. Like, so it's like we felt so good, both of us broken down dudes, that we were pummeling on the golf course. But yeah. Chris, you say that you feel so good now, so you're not necessarily saying it's over. But there's a world now, Chris, where for a guy like which you with your skill set, where there's a ton of money outside of even ever having to worry about getting kicked in the leg anymore. There's boxing, yeah, yeah there's yeah, celebrity yeah. boxing. There's YouTube boxing. Like, if I was younger and I was towards the tail end of my career, I don't know that I wouldn't go down that path. Yeah, listen, I love the UFC. I think I have two fights left in my deal. Um, we'll see. Listen, this a big win over over uh, Bruno Silva this weekend because of everything I've accomplished. It could allot me some big opportunities inside the UFC. I love the UFC. But obviously, like, there's boxing matches out there, you know, where I make a lot of money. And I wouldn't mind ending my career with that. I, I love boxing, actually. And, um, you know, like, uh, who wouldn't want to see Anderson Silva versus Chris Weidman boxing match? You know what yeah, I mean? Can, let, can, he get, can he get some revenge on me? You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, so there's, there's, some, there's some cool fights out there. And, what about um, Jake Paul? You and Jake Paul. Maybe we we'll send you I, over there. Maybe we send you over there as the – the uh to go the eraser you go the and last, erase Jake Paul the last MMA pioneer to come and actually final <laughs> do what everyone's been trying to do and make things right you know but you're his size, do news. you think he would fight but you're his size I don't know that I don't know that he would uh fight you I don't know I don't know if he would either maybe maybe mm -hmm. obviously that would be a big money fight for me everyone's dying you know for that fight um I would I love I would love that. I would love I'm the that first person to ever pitch this idea. Death. I'm the first person to ever pitch this idea, so I want a five percent finder's fee. I want a five percent idea fee because I said it. Nobody's yeah, ever said it. Yeah, before. yeah, no one's ever said it before. I've called that. I've actually mentioned this before. All right, don't steal my ideas and try to get money off me, bro. <laughs> Chris, um, you know, man, outside of the fighting, you've done exceedingly well on this television podcasting. Like, what's what? What do you hope to? What do you hope that looks for like you? Because I know on the weigh-in show, that's like the first show that you do with us on television, but you're absolute gold on it. Like what is yeah. what is your hope for this type of career going forward after fighting? Because we all got to kind of look down the line, right? You have two sons that are both state champion wrestlers now. Your daughters are athletes. Uh, one weekend you went from wrestling to baseball to everything. So I know you're a phenomenal dad. But when you look down the line and you look at a, a, a television career or a media career, what are you hoping that looks like for you? So honestly, I mean, I look at you and your career. It's unbelievable what you've been able to do. Uh, but it took a lot of hard work for you to get where you are. People see where you're at now and they're like, yeah. oh, my God, look what DC did. But we forget about the Fox, the Fox yeah, days yeah, every yeah. single week and the fight <laughs> nights, the, the, this and that. You've done so much to get where you're at. I don't. I don't think I have that in me, honestly, yeah, to, to do that. I would, ha I would have to be, you know, the bitch boy for a while. I would have to be doing all the small shows. I'd have to, like, work my <laughs> way up, eventually maybe become a commentator and all that. Like, I don't know if I have it in me because it's it's every weekend I would probably have to be okay with leaving, which means I'll be missing all my kids' sports because everything is usually on the weekend. And I don't want I don't want to be in that position. Um, yeah. So for me, as much as it's fun to do commentating, and it's it, like uh, I've never actually commentated fights, but even analyst work, the Wayne Show, all that type of TV work, I have fun doing it. I think I could be good at it, but um, I just don't want to take away from the family. Um, and I, you know, I know there's money there, and if you work hard, you could, you know, do well for yourself. But um, if it was up to me, it, I would do some of the fun shows like the Wayne Show, not making crazy money, but stay engaged. Maybe some other big, maybe there's some money more money where I actually have some leverage to create the weekends that I want to create and I could make it work. Um, but 
other than that, I would love to get this supplement company really, really yeah. rolling and just become a business owner where I could kind of create my own hours and work when and I need to work that. and I could be there and I could be there for the kids. Yeah, that would be yeah. best case scenario. But that being said, who knows? I, I I may I may have to go into that route. Not that it's Bro, a terrible thing, it's just a lot of work. It's not a terrible I mean, Chris, I'm telling you, man, it was fight nights uh from the Fox lot. It was UFC tonight. It was me just doing death show after death show after death show. Luckily for me, my children were so young at the time yeah, that they yeah. weren't necessarily as engaged into their yeah. sports. You, right? you was, hit, you did the right, you had great timing. I had the right timing for If it you had to restart me. everything I'll, right now, I would, you know, making, you know, not to throw numbers out there, but making the money that you'd make to start yeah. off in that and do every I single would. weekend. It's, 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 you, it, you'd I don't be know that I, I don't you'd know never that see I would do it. I don't know that you wouldn't I would see do Daniel, it. you know, wrestle. You wouldn't see your daughters doing gymnastics. You'd be missing out so much. Is it's it hard. worth it to maybe and get you to where miss. you're at? And you still miss, right? It's right yeah. now. You still miss. You just don't miss as much. Chris, yeah. I gotta let you go. I know you got media this right now to go get to, bro. And, yeah. and for me, when you and I talk, it's more about a conversation. I, I it's, it's really hard, right? Because you still are an active fighter and a very good one. Add that your toughness in the last fight, bro was really a sight to behold. You're just a fucking savage, man. And you've yeah. always been a savage and you're a great friend. Good luck this weekend. Thank you. Throw yourself out there, man, and just take it all in, bro. And, and hey, hey, stop doing me like that. Send my stuff, man. You said to me I was yeah. getting more. You still haven't sent it. You gave me one taste and then you, 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 you uh. gave me a taste and then you started to fucking restrain it if you start taking it from me. Send my stuff, man. When I get back, you get in a bag of Trinity Gold, baby. My I got boy. you. A couple, not more than one bag. I'm gonna hook you up, man. I'm, I think you can start with five bags. All right, hook me up. Then I'm. You, then you I might actually it. drink water after I sauna because then I'll actually work out, opposed to just I'm sitting in the sauna out. and then not doing anything. Yeah, yeah. Don't don't hurt yourself, man. We we hate to see you go down like that just to be skinny. <laughs> you the <a> man, Chris. <laughs> Guys, Chris Weidman takes on Bruno Silva this weekend. Tap into everything Chris does. He is phenomenal in front of a camera. He's phenomenal as a friend and as a fighter. He fights again this weekend. Make sure you watch it. Chris, good luck, my brother. I will see you next time. Probably on the way in show at the next pay-per-view. Hopefully you're doing UFC yeah. 300 because we got to blow it up. All I'll right, be there Chris, for that. For checking in with All right, brother. Guys, you, were the, you, were the, you were the man, bro. All right. Take peace. care, brother. Peace. What was that? Did you see that? Balloons. Balloons. How the fuck did I just get balloons, son? I don't know. Was it a happy that? birthday or something? How I have no idea how that happened. Is that your producer's magic? Yo, what? Good luck, Chris. Know. All right, brother. Take care. All right, bro. Peace.